studies have shown that children who walk to school or cycle to school as opposed to taking a vehicle or public transportation have performed measurably better on concentration tasks, things like solving puzzles, and that those effects have lasted for up to four hours upon arriving at school. We saw a big change in our son who was in grade five last year. Um, we started to let him walk home from school and we were a little bit hesitant about that at first and then all of a sudden he just had an about face. He became more outgoing, uh, more willing to try things. He put himself out there more. He became uh, editor of the newspaper. He went out for student council. He went into coding club. It's just self-esteem and confidence just shot right up. We tend to overestimate the risk of uh, a stranger approaching our children, and we underestimate the risk of inactivity leading to lifelong health problems like type 2 diabetes and heart disease. By encouraging more parents to allow their children to walk to school and to cycle to school, we're going to get more children out there. It's going to become the norm, and uh, it will become safer. Walking and cycling each day allows students to have a daily physical activity they need, as well as to build life skills that they will maintain for their lifetime. Having that daily activity helps make their hearts stronger. It's developing their confidence as well. Um, they have a better sense of their surroundings. They know where they live, how to get home, how to get to school. Um, and in the environment, nothing's better than getting that active play and activity out in the nature. It puts them in a better mood and it gives them a sense of ownership and pride for their neighborhood and they feel very comfortable with it and they want to protect it. I think if the school administration and teachers promote active transportation to children, children will promote active transportation to their parents. Children want to be active. Children want to cycle to school. Children want to walk to school. They want, don't want to be cooped up in a car. Children want to be able to play and explore. And if we have children pressure their parents to participate in that activity and the schools help out in doing that, I think we can be much more successful in promoting active transportation with our children. And if we promote it in the elementary schools and create a habit in these children, it's a habit that's going to last through middle school and high school and hopefully a lifetime. <music>